Welcome to the Vortex, the Time Vortex. This is Strato Time, or Strato here for another episode of Roll20.net, The Last Tower Let's Play. Are we live there, Jack? Yes, we are. Alrighty. Uh, if you, again, if you guys are enjoying this series, you know, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, take it away, Mr. Darna. Alright, thanks a lot, guys. Um, so last, last we left our hero. They were being rounded up by some, uh, being chased after by some people, and they managed to save, I believe, one or two um, individuals that they're being chased. And right now they were all in Ishtar's place, uh, planning and coordinating a uh, attack on the casino where these people came from. And of course, these people are members of a What's uh, here? I believe it was the Black Clang. Uh, I think. Yep. Black, Black Clang. Yeah. So you guys are in Ishtar's place. Um, you have not started the interrogation. No, well, we've got a couple of dead bodies and one live one. I, um, tell you about, um, their plan was to kill us, right, Leo? He said he wanted to kill the gnome. Yep, they were surrounding the gnome to kill him. Yeah, they were going to kill you guys. Oh, yeah. Which makes it the second time I saved your life. You can thank me later. I will never thank you. Because of all what you have done against me also. What? Like, raising you as a ghoul? That's only one thing. <clears throat> that... And you was the one who caused so many events that happened after that. Exactly. That's my job. Bad events. That has a perspective. There are necessary things that must be done. Sometimes evil must be done in order to accomplish good. See? Now he knows what I'm talking about. He, see, broke the natural law of life and death. You could have... No, been. she didn't break the natural law of life and death. I did. <laughs> she brought me to you, and technically then, she was the one who did it. If it wasn't for her, it wouldn't have happened. Well, you did die in the first place, so... Because you guys brought me to a dangerous situation. There's always dangerous situations. If you want to avoid dangerous situations, you can just go settle down and hide in the forest somewhere. Unless you want to get back at those rogues who try to kill you. I mean, you could always try doing that too. You don't tell me what to do. I do my own things. Well, I'm asking you, do you want to go after them or not? Of course I want to. Well, I am also going after them, so how about we work together? I didn't see the one that snuck up on me. I merely just punched him in the face after he found me. Well, revealed that he was stalking me and going to probably kill me. And mine got taken away by the gods. No, you were being completely surrounded by another group. They still had tabs on you. I said mine. I was in one. Not in multiple. Oh, yes. they were planning on doing multiple. But only on me. Because you were the only one they could find. <sighs> the rest of us were smart. <laughs> Which is actually kind of surprising to me. Um... Zedin, you uh, did escape fairly well. They only sent one after me. 
They must have thought. They must have sent the dumb one after me, because he revealed himself. Does bring us to our next question, though. What do we want to do with this information? Do we want to bring it up to the dragon first, or do we want to just take it upon ourselves to take revenge upon these weaklings? It's unclear what they're who they're working for entirely. It seems like uh, we should fleece them for information. I have many torture tools I could use. Well, we do need to know what they're saying. What what they're saying. Unfortunately, I uh, am not an inquisitor. I can't tell. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to sit in and listen. Do you want to be the good guy? Want me to be the bad guy? Or, you know, good cop, bad cop? Uh, I, I believe the lich, lich alone can stand for the bad cop position. Alright, I think I'll get the information over to the dragon and let her know what we plan on doing. Oh, no, no, no. She was the one who gave me that mace. You, she's she, not going to have to, anything to do with this. She is still the leader of the Black Light, and I am a member of the Black Light, so I must do what I need to do, whether or not she's, you object. She's the acting leader. Yes. You are the real one. You are a member of the Black Light as well. No, I didn't say I was in it. I don't think you had a choice in the matter. I don't care. I don't want to be part of where she can lead me. Need of those two. Well, I think regardless, I think I need to take a look at the... Uh, give her the information, don't you think, Zidan? Uh, I suggest we send Razmi to deliver the information. Is that alright with you, Razmi? You're pretty, you're pretty nimble and able to avoid being tracked. The weird. I guess. Unless you want to yeah, sit here and enjoy the interrogation. Yes, but shouldn't we interrogate first to get all the information to send to her? This is true. Alright, might as well get started on that. I'll just take notes. So shall we bring the one who's alive back to consciousness? Wow. I will lay on hands. Wow, okay. What? So, uh, he does torture him, but the guy is really, like, um... Really like, resilient. Uh, really resilient. Does not adhere to the torture. Uh, but he's kind of um, he's kind of angry right now. Um, the and, guy. Uh, yes, because he he is an elf and he's being tied up. Well, if um, you want to be the good guy, I'll just give you a plus two, um, Zedin. I don't know if I qualify as the good guy in this one. Oh. I might be better off just to catch him lying. Alright, so I'll just use diplomacy to improve his relationship with me, personally. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get any relationship bonus with him, since I did kind of punch him in the face and kick his ass, originally. So I'm pretty sure he's completely hostile to me. Okay. He's like, please make him stop. It hurts. That's on you. Aaron, did you hear me? Yep. Yep. I look at, um... I can make it hurt lich. worse. <laughs> As I'm standing there with a pike. Look... I don't like seeing you get hurt either. If I could stop him, I would, but you have to give me so some something to, to, get, to get him to stop. Uh, 
I see. What? Okay, the someone's chips are on the background. Someone either put themselves on push to talk or something. Be great. What's that, Leo? I said, uh, I'm hearing chips in the background, whoever's doing that. You can put yourself on push to talk or something. That'd be great. Oh, okay. Um, I lost my train of thought, sorry. I was talking to... Asking him if he has any information he wants to give us so I could get the lich to stop. Like, a name. Like, something simple. Let's start simple. Like, his name, or his guild. The town he grew up in. I'll do that. He uh, tells you that he grew up in the Elven, Elven Glades and was uh, fishing and him and his family, uh, when him and his uh, cohorts were caught by the orcs and put into slavery, he managed to uh, escape slavery by sheer work and uh, joined the ranks of the orcs. Didn't see any point of them. Uh, they wouldn't let him go back. I tried to convince him that... Um we want him on on our side. Seeing that his the circumstances are changed, if he, and to see if he really is, um, really does hate the new queen. He says um, he didn't see any point in going against the new queen, but. A certain group of um, individuals told them that the new queen was weak and could be easily be killed, and uh, we could take back our power by by uh, overthrowing her. Whoever told you that is only looking to destabilize the or the region. You have so much more to gain and so much more to profit with peace than we ever did with this war mentality. I hope you can see that uh, there's much more profit to be had when there is peace. Basically, I'm just trying to convince him of our way of seeing it. He looks like he's already looking at doing that, and maybe that will help him um, give us more information. All right. I'll tell you who's really behind it if you promise to keep me safe from him. I'm sure Star will keep you safe. I will promise to keep you safe. Are you sure about that? They're very... They killed our previous leader. Um, Are you sure you're safe right now in our hands? I don't think he knows where I'm at. Or she, I should say. Well, I'm sure we're capable of moving you further out of their reach and putting you in a better protective area. I don't... I'm not after someone who wants to protect themselves. I want someone who's willing to fight. You could be... Re I will release you. And you could do whatever you want. But if you want to stay and help, then stay and help. Don't be such a weakling. You know, you don't understand. These people work on a whole different level than um, 
any of us ever dreamt of. Well, maybe you can try to write down your experiences and let us know what kind of level we're dealing with. I mean, give us an example, at least something you saw that would lead you to that conclusion. There's two people from the other group. A woman by the name of uh, Sinister Soshi and another person who is their bodyguard, Bayushi Yohako. They say they're from a clan called the Scorpion. They've come from the other land to uh, test the resolve of our kingdom and uh, killed several of our leaders, the five leaders of the um, the leaders of the Black Fang, Dead Sun, and Burning Blood were all assassinated by the woman named uh, Sinister Soshi. She had used some type of powerful air magic crush them and by sucking the the air directly from their lungs. And who was the other person's name? The bodyguard? Ayushi Yan Yanako. I am not uh afraid of such magic. But it's good to know that they have to use magic. We can prepare for that. Like I said, I've never seen magic like that before. Either way, we'll be bringing the fight to them. If we... If you know anything about what other, if they have other places of power, because chances are we may never find these two individuals, but if we couldn't cut their power source from underneath them, we might be able to accomplish our goals. Any other areas besides this uh, barge that they have, they operate from? The barge is their, this casino is the mainstay of their income. Uh, they do have other places that they get you. Would you like me to give to give them their that information? Feel free to take your time, and if you want to write it down, I hand him a piece of paper and pen to write things down. Make sure his hands are free. Yeah, I'm writing it down. Give me a second. Okay, did you guys get see that two name? Yes. Did you want to... is... Zidan, did you want to write, um, make sure he's telling the truth? Can you hear me? I was getting there. Cool. Oh, 
So this is what he knows. Ow. Did that, was that me or is that somebody else? I don't, I don't know. Okay. Sinister Soshi, he says, is a, from what they explain, is she is a parachute ninja. And, uh, the Bayushi Yakano is her a Yojimbo. Um, and goes with her wherever she's at. Um, both female, both follow each other everywhere they go. They do have uh, several other people from the Scorpion Clan with them. Ninjas and monks. Um, and all from the Bayushi family. Okay, I'm more concerned about uh, other bases of operations that they operate from. Uh, he uh, is unaware of any other places of interest. Um, he only knows about the casino. But he does know that they have other places operate, just that's the one he's aware of. Yes, uh, they, he said that uh, they keep everyone in dark of the other information. They only tell them what they need to know, basically. So, um, we probably have to capture a member of this uh, inner circle, since he has ninjas and such working with him in order to find out their other bases operation. So we need to capture at least one person when we do our mission. Of course. He, he does tell you that uh, they usually very, they're very good about not being captured. Uh, a group of um, coming from the um, the, uh, uh, the burning blood fire giants. A group of fire giants tried to surround some of the, the ninja slash samurai, and uh, they committed some weird ritual in order not to be captured. They stabbed themselves with these weird swords and gutted themselves and reached into their stomach and, like, yanked out their intestines. You'd be surprised what kind of magic... You think... You think killing someone by taking their airways magic used to see the other kind of magic we have. I know there's healing. They tried to heal, but they were already dead. Stop someone in the middle of their tracks and trying to commit suicide is also something capable. Yes, but they weren't... I guess they weren't ready for what was happening here. I'm assuming that if you had someone in the, in the background ready to stop them from dying. Well, that's good information to know. We will prepare for that. One thing about being a wizard, when you have the ability to prepare for something, you'll always have the spells you need. I look at Ishtar, ask him for invisibility, hold person, and a few other annoying spells. <laughs> and I'll get the information to the, um, what do we nickname her? Just the Black Queen, or? Uh, the dragon? Yes. No. Um, let's see where is her name? It's in the NPCs. Yeah, I just don't see it. Hmm. 
Maybe I didn't put it on the NPCs. My bad. Start with a Z. Let me look. Uh, Zarel is her name. The Black Dragon. Z E R E A L. Okay, I'll go tell Zarel. Okay. I just turn my ring of visibility on and go. Is there any way you can teleport me and this gentleman to the port to the portal room or near enough that we can get in there quickly? Uh, where are you plan on taking him? I'm going to take him to Romania. The main, the main s or the or uh, Fort Sister, I mean. Um, I'm out of teleports for the day. I can use them all to save you. You'll have to tra If you want to wait a day, I can teleport you then, or you can traverse the streets, but they're looking for you. I know they're looking for me. That's why I was hoping to get some means of quick transportation. Any type of disguise? Magic? A cheeky smile grows over his face. Yes. That you can disguise the both of us so we can use that as a means to get through the street? Of course. It is, uh... I do not have invisibility memorized. I'm a necromancer after all. But I do have a spell that can transform you into a cat. Uh, not that looks like Razzie. Uh, what are these creatures? He points over to the, the you know, the small little felines. Except living. Of course. So he just points to my cat? Yes. He points to your cat and he's like, it's, it's living, just like that. Would you be willing to come with me, dear sir? For the protection that you requested? How you know they're not in Fort Sister already? I don't know they're not in Fort Sister already, but I do know of a family that will be more inclined to not be susceptible to their whims. Okay. I'll do it. Is anyone else going to be a cute little kitty? I have invisibility, so, no. I can turn myself into animals, so no thank you. I don't, I don't want, want to be, be with it. I don't want to be affected by your magic ever again. <laughs> He'd rather be a ghoul. I don't no. want to be a ghoul. Yes, she already murdered someone in cold blood to prevent that from happening. Excuse me, I planned to resurrect him the normal way. Yes, after you murdered him gold black. Did it taste <laughs> wonderful when you killed him when his life essence fell from his body and the look of sheer, utter horror came across his face? It's like, why? Why did you kill me for no reason? She walks up and I'll be back in a moment. Yeah, she walks over and jumps up to slap him on the face. He just laughs as you do. Next time I will kill you. Oh please end the torment. Oh, okay, I will be terrible to end and blitz. You yes, you are against I the whole Law of nature. Yes, I know. My death will come soon, my child. And I will be the one to end it in your life. I look forward to it, but I won't let it go easy. You won't you ever have an easy time when I'm involved. Never. 
he he cast the spell transforming Zahid and then the other guy into a cat. I uh, I'm gonna sit down for a moment and I start pulling out this kit and I start working on making myself look slightly more different. Eh, fairly different, you know, changing how my hair is styled, changing some of the colors in my hair, just kind of disguising myself a bit. No problem. You can make yourself look human if you want. Eh, no, I just, I stay looking like a cat person, I just change the color of how I look. My hair is darker instead of the light brown, I'm more of a black colored now. And then, once I see we're all ready to go, I'm going to slink my way outside, and I guess, uh, are we going to the port first? Is that where we were headed? That's where we're all going to meet up, right? Yeah, we'll meet up at the um, dock, and if you want to get started at gambling, we, you can do that. We have to come up with a time we want to attack the place, so maybe the, uh, the inn nearby, if you want to secure that for us. Uh, I'll go find somewhere nearby for us to hold out at then. And I'll uh, uh, see about slipping out the door. Sounds good. Make my way there disguised and as stealthfully as possible. Alright, Aaron, where are you? Uh, so you're heading out to see the Black Dragon? Yes. I'm back. Okay. I'm back. And Zahid, and you're going with the, the Rogue? I'm going with, yeah, with the rogue. Okay, and what are you going to do, Lenny? I, um, I'm going to turn into an eagle, and then I will just, I will just, uh, scout around the area. I'd say keep an eye out to see if anybody follows any of us. Yeah, I'm going to do that. You could get pretty high up and see us, I'm sure. Yep. Did you transform into perception. an eagle? What? Did you transform yourself into an eagle? Yeah, that's what I said. Alright, that's fine. Alright, we'll start with uh, Lini. Give me perception check. Okay, okay. Yeah, give me a perception check. Nice. That was te a rule of ten for that. <laughs> That's still really good. Yep. This is why I have 21 perception, and I am the one keeping an eye out for everybody. Okay, you, um... Do you see several uh, unsavory individuals um, that look like orcs? You can go ahead and you can see their uh, disguise is, uh, and they they seem to be looking through the streets um, in different areas and like uh, main intersections, main arteries, and crossroads. Is basically where they're camped out at. Wait, so these are the disguised, disguised elf? Yes. I'm gonna take a shit on one of them as I fly over it. Okay. You sure you wanna do that? Yep, I will do that. After all, they just think I'm an eagle. And it's okay. Normal.
Oh, so that way I have it marked so I know which one is which. That's a 19 hit. Uh, is it my normal AC or is it from the status of an eagle? Oh. It should be well, your AC because you're in eagle form. Okay, uh, give me a moment here. Unless you have a special armor that gives you the AC. And you, you missed. He shoots a crossbow at you. Oh wait, oh wait! I forgot that probably my 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 companion have probably higher AC than normal here, so I'll look that up. I should probably had a uh, bookmark or something like that. <laughs> okay, here it is. Um, yeah, you hit. Okay. You are now bleeding. You got plus four bleeding, and you take uh, one year damage. So total of uh, four points of damage, and then four bleed. So total of eight. Well, uh, I am back to normal because I even only have five hit points. No, you, when you assume form, it's your hit points. Oh, yeah. my own hit points. No, oh, you no, st you, basically, when you assume a form, you gain bonuses, basically. It, it functions like elemental body or beast shape. Ah, okay. So, like, if you change into a medium-sized eagle, you gain two to your strength and, like, two to your armor. And everything else stays the same. Wait, so it would be a tough my armor, or just it'd be oh. a natural armor bonus. So if you have yeah. something already that gives you natural armor, oh, oh, wait. But it would remove your regular armor. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I have no natural armor. Anyway. So it's fine. Again, unless, unless of course you have the feet or magical armor that transforms you. I no, there is armor that transforms with. I think I have that one. No. Probably not, because it's very expensive. It is a very expensive enchant. <laughs> For a very good reason, because druids are OP when they change form. Yeah, I can see why. Okay, do you continue flying or no? Yeah, I'm gonna continue on flying. Yeah. You might want to take care of that bleed damage. You're oh, probably gonna right. have to go mm. land, transform, heal your bleed, and then transform back and fly away. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna do that. Oh, just normal heal, yeah. Uh, Let's see uh, which one should Give me percentage dice. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Give me a stealth check. Hey, let's see if I can get, do this. Self stealth. Ah, come on. Oh, quit! That's so trendy. Did you remember the plus four from size? Yes, you did. It is automatic because I am no more a small after all normally. Yep. So 
that's fine. Yeah, just to have wild enchant on something would cost you 16,000 gold. 16,000? Oh, God. How yep. much gold do I even have right now? Yeah, okay, uh, I need uh, 10,000 more. Because it would be uh, basically... Because you'd have to have a plus one armor for the enchant already. And then it's a plus three enchant. Oh, oh, it's so it would make it a plus first? four. Oh. Bullshit. Alright, go ahead and mark out the healing spell that you used. Uh, and then uh, actually, I'm gonna use my. I'm gonna use the one that I have. For it. Alright, make sure you mark that off. Oh, wait. Wait, is. Two of us? Yeah, I still have that one. Yep, I didn't ask for it back. Yes. And I heal. And. Uh, all of it back! Well, you have at least taken one extra bleed from the whole landing shit. Oh, yeah, so that's that's actually just so... F still amazing for health, whatever. Yeah. Okay, so where you go now? I'm gonna continue on what I was doing. Just kinda stay away from that area, though. Are you gonna change shape back? Yep. That means okay. I used two up in total for this, but whatever. I'm gonna poop on any more people that you see that are suspicious. <laughs> uh, um, after that, no thanks. While you're flying around, you do notice, um... Uh, a, uh... Young looking woman in all red, uh, red kimono seems to be walking around and, uh, picking up some stuff at the, uh, at the marketplace. Um, and she looks at you and waves at you and goes back to picking the animals. Well, that is suspicious. Well, I'm not gonna really do anything because I don't want to use more of my wild shape right now. Okay. Alright, we'll go to Razmi. So, Razmi, you're sneaking through the city. You as well see the, uh, the people looking for you, or you recognize them. Oh, yeah. Uh, as you're heading towards the end. I just keep going, trying not to make my presence known. Give me percent test. As you're going through the alleyway, you come across a uh, a group of um, uh, goblins that haven't been seen by the guards yet. Uh, what well, looks like a massacre of bodies. Probably like five or six goblins have been killed and like gut gutted open. And there's a uh, a um, man dressed in red robes, wearing a uh, suspicious-looking scorpion talisman, which you recognize on his uh, on his robes. you keep going, or do you just uh, stay away from him? I forget what the Scorpion Talisman is. To be honest. As a character, I've forgotten what the hell it is. There you go. You see that? 
If you look under handouts under Scorpion, that's what it looks like. Yeah, it's with this uh, Scorpion clan talisman. Gotcha. I, um... I stop and stare at him for a moment. He looks at you for a second and smiles. They owed me money. I shrug and go, eh, and keep going. One second, dear friend. Yes. You look like an able bodied person. Uh, how would you be interested in making some money? Uh, at any normal day, I would gladly be making money, but unfortunately, I, I have a job to do at the moment. I see. I do appreciate your discreetness in the matter of what you just seen. I request uh, some semblance of silence. To be honest, I don't like their kind anyway. The creepy creepy out. Out. Yes. They are indeed uh, spawns of hell and should be treated as such. But here, to show you that uh, I am not uh, unwilling to pay you. He gives you a uh, hundred gold, and he says, um, and uh, a uh, a uh, pendant that has the same scorpion symbol, and says, "Come to the West Docks, the ship called the." The Red Skull, and uh, if you want some work, I will uh, keep that in mind. And and not not All right, he lets you leave, watching you leave as you uh, walk away. When you walk away, you hear more like. You know that they're dead, but you hear them like stomping at them still as, as you read. Disgusting, filthy, sir, vermin. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I don't like goblins in the first place. You make it to the uh, inn um, that is nearest to the docks. I'm assuming you've probably stayed here before. Yeah, probably. I, uh,. I go up to the owner and tell him I want a uh, room that overlooks the docks. I love looking at the sea. Town looks at you he's like, yeah, I got a room. How many you stay? Uh, for me right now, but uh, I'm expecting more company soon. I see. Uh, just don't try to up the room too much. Like that'll be uh, five gold. I'll put the five gold on the table for him. All right. Zahida, now that you're a cat. Meow. Meow. <laughs> That's all I can say. Um, <laughs> you, you head towards the teleport pad? Yeah, just kind of wandering back and forth a little bit. All right. Um, no one bothers you, except a couple of times a little girl will... Well, actually, give me a percentage. I see if anyone bothers you. A dog comes chasing you. Nope, my damn person noticed you, cats. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm like, eh, cats wouldn't just take a beeline to to the destination. They just kind of zigzag through the streets a little bit to get there.
All right, you make it to the teleport pad, so what do you do now? Um, look to see where there's if they're sending people through at the moment. Um, you get I'll roll something. They're sending a group to um, Fort Hope. To Fort Hope. Yeah, we'll just hang out for a little bit, see if they're sending anyone over to Fort Sister, and then we'll hop through that portal real fast like a bunch of crazy cats just charging through. Okay. I'm going to roll a d4. Once you, uh, someone shows up, Fort sister and three four uh, no one does okay okay oh you got lucky so you only have to wait like maybe an hour or two for people that are going to Fort sister get teleported there and you guys hop in yep, yep. Uh, teleport works easily and uh, you arrive in Fort sister and stuff like that yep so I'm going to head towards the Hester residence. Saw that coming. You're still a cat. I know. Okay. They drink the blow from the cat. You you uh, head towards the Hester's residence. Uh, you see one of the uh, Hester family, not Lord Hester himself, but uh, one of his many family members at the gates of the Hesters. He, the gates are locked, but he sees the cats and kind of looks like, uh, looks like we have some more food to feed ourselves. He laughs and he's like, um... Regina Hester would enjoy some more cats to play with. Oh, God. I'm not looking to go in the front gates. I'm looking to go kind of like over the wall and around, so to speak. Yeah, and that's who stops you. Ah. Are we inside Are we the inside Hester residence? Or? Like in the, in the wall, or are we outside out front? Well, I assumed like you hopped on a tree and you like was going to go over the wall somewhere, and he spotted you and grabbed you, like, like you would a cat. Uh, I will end the spell on myself at that point. Okay, so you want to... Um, So do you want to roll a... I mean, unless I can speak second. regularly in this form, which I don't think I can. Well, my only other option is to smite him, and that would probably not go over well. Yeah, give me a... Uh... The, you you let him turn you into cat. He says uh, um, he didn't use as much of his power as, as he could have on it. So go ahead and roll me a um, little saving throw. Yay! I was like, I was hoping to get to a location first before dropping the disguise. Mike, I'm close, but not as close as I would like. So when do you transform back to Zahida? Immediately when he grabs you, or before, just before he grabs you? Does he proceed to turn like he's going to head into the house? Yes. 
As soon as he gets inside the house. Okay. So you peer in his hand. He's like, oh. He lets go of you, and he's like, ah. Zahedan, star, uh, star child. Yes. It was a pleasure to see you. Uh, is this your cat as well? No, this is a, a man who would like to be in protective custody. Ah. Well, go ahead and turn back into a human now. The cat kind of looks at you like... <laughs> I nod. And uh, he appears and he's like, Ah, I see. I'm sorry, but uh, I'm not the master of this house. Elena Hester is... Uh, Lord Hester is in Romania right now. I'm in um, Finland right now with uh, talking to the Council of Generals with General Eurothosis and Captain Arthur Pinterest. Ah, and they are uh, talking about the military movements. He takes you to a room where you see a uh, very, very girly looking uh, chain. It's got the uh, red, um, it's got uh, beautiful pinks, whites, um, got real stuffed animals everywhere. But along that, you see tons of cats, all different colors and shapes. And this woman is sitting. Uh, on her, on a uh, armoire, or on a nice cushy couch, petting a white kitty, uh, reading a book, and she looks up at you. Good afternoon, m'lady. Uh, it has been so while, sweet and such a... What brings you here? This man would like to be in protective custody. And I figured, with what I know about your house, your house would be the best place to protect him, pro uh, best place for him to stay protected, until a matter is resolved with um, a group of scrupulous individuals that is out to try to assassinate the queen. Oh my! We can't have that, can we? Exactly. I'm not in the habit of uh, letting just anyone prance around my my uh, lowly halls, but uh, I can see what I can do. But uh, what is this? Uh, who are these people that are trying to just tap up? I will relay the information that I learned earlier, if unless he wants to speak up and say the matter him, and, and inform us himself about the group. Uh, do you not let anything hide, or, or you just tell her everything truthfully? I tell her everything truthfully. I don't hide a thing. Okay, uh, can you tell me any information you want to leave out? Like, um, so you're just talking about the guild itself, or are you talking about the black light in general? No, I'm not talking about the black light in general. I'm just talking about the 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 the, the group that we found out about that was trying to assassinate the the queen. The queen. So, uh, question. You mentioned the Black Fang, the Dead Sun, and the Burning Blood Door. Yes, I do. Okay. But you don't mention the Black Light? No. Or who the leader is? Do you mention Ishtar? Uh, I do not mention Ishtar off the top of my head, no. Okay. Uh, do you mention the names of the, the Shiginja and the Yajembo? Yes, I do. Okay. And you mentioned that they're working at the casino, or do you give them information about the desert? I will say that I have, we have heard that they're working, The one of their main bases is a casino in Romania. We are going to invest, me and my group are going to investigate it. So you only mentioned the casino, but not the desk. I 
the de oh, well, if, if the desert's tied to them, then I will say yes. I know that they've been taking slaves of the desert as well, trying to brainwash them. Slavery was made illegal. They're breaking the law. Hmm. It's been illegal for several millennia, I believe. Yes. They know that. And we must uh, adhere to the laws. Don't you think, Lady Starchild? Lady Starchild. Oh, I turn around. I turn around. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you see Lady Starchild walking in behind you. Ah. Mother? It was came in here to visit. But apparently, uh, I came at the right time. I only heard of the end conversation about this whole uh, interest. Yes. We have several problems with this. Um, the group from the Rokugan, this area of as trying to thwart us. Either that or they're testing our resolve and our strength to combat them. It's a test of resolve. Yes. A test of strength. <clears throat> if they find that it were easy to take over, they will um, encourage their other family members to uh, insult us, and I don't think we will have the strength or the power to fight against such a large army. Even if uh, they do have to take a long time to get here, our group has not yet um, established itself. Hmm. I think it is time that we the power the Hester family. I will go with you and I will leave Lady Starchild in charge of Fort Sister. Uh, she looks at her and says, No unnecessary rule changing. Lady Starchild she smiles, a lady star child smiles. Of course, my lady. I do this out of uh, a semblance of my poor, my poor, my poor uh, Alba's Hester when he passed away. It hurt me so much. I regretted seeing his death before my eyes. I will go with you. And uh, she, um, I will secure everything. I will be with you shortly. Very well. All right, guys, we're going to hold this episode here. And again, if you guys are enjoying, you know, leave a like, subscribe. Uh, we'll see you in the next episode. As for now, this is Strato Time or Strato signing out. <laughs>